Hi everyone, welcome back to my study. And uh, for those of you that are interested in this sort of thing, this sort of thing being the arrival of uh, a new um, CGG Sebenza 21 into my collection. Um, I've had a lot of Sebenza 21s um, coming into my collection lately, and I think it's partially a product of me uh, wanting to pick up a few items that are um, soon no longer going to be available because of the switch to production of Sebenza 31. And also, um, just because some things have become available that uh, were unexpected and that were long on my list. Um, but today, this should be interesting. So, um, yeah, I've I've uh, had two um, CGG Sebenzas. One was the Lunar Landing, which um, I've already posted the video on YouTube, and um, I had to send back right away because right after I, I filmed the video, I discovered a crack in the uh, cabochon. So... Um, they're going to be replacing it. Um, and then uh, my second CGG Sebenza is this one, the Paisley, which um, I ordered third, but unboxed second because I wanted to confirm to the seller that it, it uh, got here okay. Um, not necessarily a fan of this brown or rust colored uh, um, lanyard, so um, I'm gonna be replacing that soon. Um, but today will be, um, so sec the second CGG Sebenza that I ordered and the uh, third one that I unboxed. And also it's going to be the second uh, Damascus that I ordered. And that's the main reason I went after this knife. Um, but uh, this, this one, my first Damascus is the Chad Nichols uh, Raindrop Damascus with natural micarta. And... Um, this is a really stunning knife. I mean, I, I saw the photos of it and I thought, oh, that's really stunning. And then when I saw something else about it, I, I had to have it. And, and uh, the full story will come out um, when uh, I, um, yeah, I put it this way. This has something to do with the big brother of this knife, my favorite, uh, uh, which is still on its way back to me, should be arriving in a week or so. Um, and then I will explain why this was a, a, a knife I had to have and ended up being my first Damascus. Um, but what I have in front of me, and it's not in the in a post box because um, it arrived with my um, Chris Reeves Sakayo, which I've already uh, filmed a video of, and uh, a uh, Benchmade uh, knife that um, uh, came from the same dealer. Um, so it's uh, out of the the uh, package that it was sent in, but I have not opened this box. In fact, this box has not been opened probably in six uh, years, six or seven years. So this was on the shelf at the dealer. Um, the Celtic or Celtic, both pronunciations are, are uh, proper. Um, was a, I believe a 2013 um, CGG design. Um, and I was going through their online um, inventory and uh, I saw this and um, I actually called and asked and, and uh, it was, uh, yeah, it's just, it's been in their inventory and it hasn't sold. So I don't know if the Celtic is a less popular um um, CGG or maybe it just escaped people's notice or people's taste um, uh, when ordering from this dealer but um, I wanted to get a, a basket weave after now owning um, a raindrop and I wanted to have a basket weave because um, I know that the Devin Thomas uh, basket weave is no longer going to be produced by, uh, or is no longer in production by Chris Reeve Knives. So I wanted to have one because I've seen photographs of it. So uh, obviously this is in the um, old style box um, that uh, they no longer use. Um, the current style, of course, is the, the square box. Um, and uh, 
earlier they used to use just a plain uh, rectangular uh, box with stickers on it. Uh, so this was their first um, printed boxes specifically made for Chris Reeve knives. Um, so uh, let's see, I, I'm really curious to see uh, the shape this is in after being on the shelf for so many years. Um, I mean, I expect it to, it is brand new knife. Um, just happened to not be sold or have been in their inventory for a long time. But it's it's kind of fun to unbox uh, uh, one of the one of these brand new in this style of box. So let's see here. Um, so the birth card. This is what I was uh, curious to see. So yeah, um, yeah, the October seventh, twenty thirteen. So it was a twenty thirteen model. So yeah, this has been um, since it's, uh, now March 1st, uh, 27, or sorry, 2020, um, this has been around for a good, um, six years, uh, almost, you know, uh, it'll be seven this fall. Um, yeah. Um, and then you have the, the typical, um, Chris Reeve stuff, um, that you've all seen. And, I'm not going to go through all that. Uh, oh, uh, this is interesting. Uh, a separate sheet about Damascus blades. I haven't seen that before. Um, yeah, that's uh, interesting. Because when I un unboxed the uh, the raindrop, I was looking to see if there was anything interest or anything separate. But they they do have this information online now. Um, yeah, interesting. And what's this? Uh, okay, uh, this is another part of the, what is now on the, uh, in the brochure that you get it, and the old uh, pattern sticker, and uh, the leather slip with the old uh, logo design, um, yeah, um, uh, like all uh, wood inlays and uh, CGG and unique graphics, it all comes with a pocket slip, which is great, and the old style um, uh, microfiber cloth, which is, you know, a little bit lighter in color and has the old logo. So here's the knife. Um, and, uh, yeah, I wonder how the grease held up, <laughs> but, um, I'm probably not going to get involved with that. Um, got plenty of, the, of, uh, grease. Um, but, uh, let's just have a look here at this small Sebenza Celtic, uh, basket weave. So first let me, uh, let me talk about the Celtic design. So, um, it basically has a, uh, style of Celtic knot, um, which are very classic. There's a lot of different, uh, Irish symbols that are, uh, based upon these sort of continuous lines that interweave around themselves and they never end. Well, here, obviously they run off the ends of the handle, um, but, uh, in a lot of the, the, um, uh, symbols in Ireland that um, these Celtic knots and are, are used uh, in, there's no, they sort of loop around and come back on themselves. And you can look at symbols like the uh, the uh, Dara knot or the Triquetra, which is a uh, sort of a three-leafed um, symbol, which is actually one of the oldest religious symbols in the world, apparently. Um, but this, this, these sort of continuous line designs, uh, and they, you know, they do crosses, they do shamrocks, they do flowers um with made of these these interweaving lines um this the this specific um pattern l reminds me of one i've seen in a triquetra um uh with it that had internal designs like uh, embellishment um but they these these also sort of symbolize these these uh lines are uh, to symbolize um, the branches and roots of the oak tree, which is uh, a strong symbol in Ireland, which symbolizes strength and also eternal spiritual life. Um, so that's what that means. Um, so this is really uh, amazing. Look, I, I, when I received the, um, the uh, raindrop Damascus, I was looking to see if I could see a pattern in the spine of the, of the blade. And I couldn't until I turned off my camera and I got it uh, under some really bright light. But there, 
there is a pattern there. You can see the wavy lines. I don't know if the camera's picking it up um, in this light, but I know when I filmed the unboxing or arrival of this knife, it was very hard to see in the video. Um, and it is hard to see as it is, but I, I'm really um, amazed. Here you can see the pattern right in the top of the spine, which is uh, quite interesting. Um, so let's open it up uh, and see Okay, so three months, or sorry, six years plus on the shelf. It was a little bit stiff on the detent, but look at that um, basket weave uh, pattern. That is just stunning. And this is the main thing I bought the knife for. Um, yeah, very geometrical, um, very even as opposed to sort of the raindrop, which has a bit more randomness to it, I see. I think. Um, this is just, uh, I love it. It's just gorgeous. I, yeah, wow. Uh, impressive. Um, so this is uh, Damascus produced by uh, Devin Thomas. Um, and it's made out of two types of steel. It's uh, AEBL, which uh, uh, is also in the Chad Nichols Damascus, his different types of Damascus, as well as 304 stainless. So both of those are in um, Chad Nichols Damascus. Chad Nichols also has, uh, I believe, um, 440C and uh, nickel uh, in, the, in his Damascus products. Um, the, as far as I know, um, from what I've read, is uh, the Devin Thomas is just made of the AEBL and the 304 stainless. AEBL is um, it's a very fine grain uh, steel with tiny carbides, so it takes sharpening really well with no carbide tear out or very little. Um, it's a uh, it's very commonly used for razor blades, and it's uh, known for its toughness its workability, its um, sharpenability, and edge retention, which obviously, uh, if it's a razor blade knife, um, it's um, ideal for that. And it also um, uh, takes a polish really well. Whereas 304 stainless, um, I'm, it's uh, the most common stainless steel in use. And it's also, uh, it's most striking feature is it's high corrosion resistance. And um, it's also very easily worked, uh, which lends itself well to being uh, put into these uh, Damascus combinations. But boy, that is, uh, that is something. And I actually think um, this sort of very geometric repetition of the pattern in the Damascus matches with the Celtic knot, um, design. Um, so it's, it complements the handle really well. Um, really quite, uh, quite impressed with that. I, I don't know why this, uh, six year old, six plus year old, CGG Sabenza would still be on the shelf, especially when um, Basket Weave is uh, out of production. Um, you have to get it on the secondary market. Uh, or um, or the, the fact is that a CGG, um, usually they, they go quite quickly. Well, the, the Lunar Landing sure did. That's probably their top seller ever. But if anyone out there is a, a Sabenza fan and, and knows the history and lore of, of the Sabenza, uh, maybe you can speculate. I mean, I'm not a fan of the color brown. I was just talking about, uh, where is it now? Uh, about uh, my paisley, uh, which I love the paisley. Like this is just, I said before I got any CGG Sabins, I said if I was ever going to get one, I mean, I, I, I wanted the paisley. I just think it's a gorgeous knife. Um, the lunar landing I had to think about. I hummed and hawed about it for over a year. But the paisley, as um, soon as I had a chance to get one, and one that was never, it was never used. It's just been out of the box to be photographed and fondled. So uh, it's an excellent, uh, well, perfect shape. Um, but like I said at the beginning of this video, I'm not a fan of the rust or brown colored lanyard and I may, I, I'm not exactly fond of the, the brown color on the, um, the Celtic knots here that are, um, you know, uh, um, 
are are uh, milled into the blade. Um, I wonder if they could have anodized it a, a sort of an uh, an Irish green or, or a Celtic green. I don't know, um, but uh, I think I like it a little better holding it in my hand, seeing um, it next to the basket weave. I think they, they complement each other really well. And um, I did see some comments online that the Celtic, uh, uh, people prefer it with the large uh, Savenza rather than the small. But um, yeah, I bought it. I bought this knife so I could have the basket weave. And um, I, uh, I had a choice between a plain... Um, uh, also brand new. I think it's still available at that dealer. Um, uh, a plain uh, Sabenza 21, small, um, uh, with the basket weave or the CGG. And I thought, well, um, yeah, I think I'd like to have the CGG. And I'm not regretting it at all. Um, so since I got it open, and since I always forget, let's uh, let's try a slice, uh, see what the the blade's like. I mean, it's been sitting in a box for six years. There's no reason for it not to be factory sharp, but let's see what factory sharpness was in uh, 2013. Um, so let's just do, yeah, pretty sharp. Oh, a little bit of tearing there. Um, let's see if I go a bit faster. Oh, okay, yeah, a little bit better if you go fast with it. Oh, look at that, just shaved off a little teeny piece. So. Uh, I, 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 um, I'll be probably only carrying this on rare occasions. This is, uh, I use all my, um, knives in my collection. Um, it just, uh, it's a question of degrees. Um, and usually once I own a knife for a while, it sort of falls into a pattern as to when I do and don't use it. And I, I think the, uh, the, um, uh, Damascus is going to get a little bit babied by me. I mean, um, the funny thing is, um, I, uh, uh, very shortly after purchasing this, uh, I ended up having a chance to get another basket weave Sabenza, which I will be, uh, unboxing next because, um, these have been sitting on my shelf for a week waiting for me to get time to unbox. And, and, um, so I'm going to have one that's going to be a bit more of a user and, um, keep an eye out for that. It's going to be the Menandi, uh, uh, with the basket weave blade. Um, but there it is. Um, that's the, uh, Celtic small 21 with basket weave Damascus blade. Yeah. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.